Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. I'm Jonah Dew. I'm one of the banking bros here with The Money Multiplier. And today, I've got a very special YouTube episode for you. We're, we're going to talk about control, control of your money, and who is actually controlling the financing aspect in your life. And we're going to do so by highlighting an email that I actually recently received from a client and one of a member here at the uh, Money Multiplier that's been working with us for just a few years. He sent me this email. I thought it was awesome that he was asking these particular questions. So we're going to walk through the email together. I'll give you my thoughts and then I'll leave you asking or will ask you the exact same question that he asked. I want to see if anybody out there is paying attention enough to know what the answers might be. So we're going to jump right into it on today's episode of Money Myths and Money Mathematics. And this is the email that was sent. So it says, Jonah, good afternoon. I have a question regarding when to use a business line of credit versus my infinite banking concept policies. If you're new here to this channel, understand that this channel is all about use and implementation of infinite banking concept type of policies, sometimes called privatized banking, other times called personalized banking. That is all we do here with the banking bros at the Money Multiplier. We design them and help you use them. This conversation, this email is all about helping this person use his policies. Now, I'm not gonna give you his particular details or his name. We kind of keep that safe to protect the wealthy, but we are gonna walk through his question so you can get a better understanding of the philosophy behind how we teach folks to use their money. So let's continue with this email. It says, I have a $240,000 business line of credit from a local bank here, and he's got about $150,000 of cash avail available to him right now in cash value through his infinite banking policies. Two policies, total cash value about $150,000. He says, I've got some investment properties that need that he needs to stabilize this year, and approximately $150,000 in renovations are required to do so. Let's take a pause for just a second. I hope you guys see the situation building. He's saying, I know I've got $150,000 of expenses headed my direction, and I've got the ability to pay for these expenses using my infinite banking policy, but I've also got this business line of credit that I could use. Which one should I use? Now, he doesn't ask which one should I use, but I want to pose that question to you guys. Which one should he use and why? Now, his business line of credit is charging him 4% interest, whereas if he took a policy loan from his policies, the interest rate would be 4.5. Okay? With all that information, which one would you tell him to use? Now, the person who's doing the math at home might immediately say, well, I'm going to use the business line of credit. They're only charging 4% interest, where the policy loan would charge me 4.5. But here's my question for you. What about control? Who's in control if you use your business line of credit and things take a turn for the worst? Who's in control? And that's exactly what this gentleman's question was all about. He says, my original plan was to use the line of credit as a last resort since I know that I'd be subject to the bank's terms. The issue that I'm running into here is whether or not the bank will freeze the business line of credit due to an impending recession announcement. Now, I'm not here to tell you that the recession is on its way, and whether you believe that it is or is not is completely up to you. This gentleman, of course, via his email, believes that it's coming. It's coming soon. And he says, should I use my business line of credit because of that? Again, we're here this episode to talk about control. Of course, if you use the business line of credit to do the renovations on the rental properties, you're not in control. Not only a lot of times on line of credits, you can have the rate change on you. I don't know in this particular case if that's this gentleman's uh, concern, but generally speaking, HELOCs and other lines of credit, they can change the rates on you. A lot of time the rates are prime plus something, so if prime moves, they can adjust them. I saw he like just recently where they could change the rate from four and a half percent all the way to 18. 
So anyway, you don't have control of that. You've got the ability for the banks to freeze the line of credit saying you can no longer use this much money or we're going to drop the limit on your line of credit. That's also a possibility. And of course, you don't want to have money outstanding when they decide that it's time to adjust things. And I think that's this gentleman's concern. So here's what he says are the scenarios that he's considering. Three different scenarios. He says, I could use my business line of credit and use my infinite banking policies as my reserve account. I could use my business line of credit, use my infinite banking policy to pay off the line of credit. And then of course, I'll use the future rents and things to pay back the infinite banking policy. He also says I could use the infinite banking policy first and hold the business line of credit as reserves. And of course, vice versa, use the infinite banking policy first, hold the business line of credit as reserves and use future rents to pay back the infinite banking policy. And so the question that I have for you at home is which option do you believe that we suggested to this gentleman? Which option would you suggest if you were in his shoes? Which option would you use? Again, this conversation is all about control. This gentleman's thinking, I want to have control and I know or think that something is coming down the pipeline as far as a recession is concerned. And so with that information, which option would you choose? If you've been paying attention to our videos, I hope you understand which option we choose. If you are not savvy and haven't been paying attention to our particular videos, then we'll link a video in the comment section or put it up above of the video that you could watch, which will illustrate for you and tell you exactly which choice we would choose for this gentleman. Thank you so much for joining us for another video today. I'm Jonah Dew, one of the banking bros here at The Money Multiplier.